dystopian times. So I just want to play a quick video for you all. There's not going to be any audio, but um, I, I just want you to make some observations. And if you don't already know, then I'll tell you why this might be an issue. So you see people here, lots and lots of people, uh, over a hundred people, all partying, uh, having a good time, you know, you know, mingling, having some cocktails. Um, and if you didn't notice, this individual is the governor of Texas. This is Greg Abbott. Now, one day after this took place, um, Greg Abbott tested positive for COVID-19. <laughs> so I just want to go back. Um, we'll kind of scan through it again. I counted um, zero masks. Zero masks. Not <laughs> he is not wearing a mask. And every single person in this room is now exposed to COVID-19. Now, the reason why this is so interesting is because I'm going to read a little bit. This is from the Texas Tribune. Uh, Governor Greg Abbott of Texas tested po positive for coronavirus on Tuesday and is receiving an antibody treatment, though he has no symptoms, the governor's office announced. Now, here's where it gets interesting. An ardent opponent of mask and vaccine mandates, Mr. Abbott, a Republican, has taken his opposition to such requirements all the way to the state Supreme Court. Mr. Abbott, who is fully vaccinated, will now be isolated in the governor's mansion while receiving monoclonal, I, I probably butchered that word, antibody treatment, which can help patients who are at risk of getting very sick. Um, folks, is this not like the perfect illustration as to why masks are really important? <laughs> Someone in chat said that this is Obama's birthday party, and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so actually old. Really These perfect. people are so old. Ugh. I'm sorry. If they get COVID, they're... That's it. Game over. If they're not vaccinated, rolled by Governor Abbott. That sucks. Like, I yeah. love the nicknames. Like, Ron DeSantis is becalling, like, Ron DeSantis now. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these Republican governors are not taking it seriously. And honestly, it's like, if they get COVID, I'm not going to be sad about that. <laughs> it, Why should it's I just, be? It's just like, I had two thoughts initially when I saw that video after I learned that he tested positive. It's like, one, how many of these people who are really old, probably vulnerable, are going to die? And two, how many of them are donors? Like, how many of them help him get elected? And to see all of them, like, living it up, I I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Dan, do you have anything to say? I I, I, I'm was, trying to bite my tongue. <laughs> no worries. Is, was that video, from, were they in Texas? I don't know where that video was taken. So this is the uh, Heritage Ranch. Uh, it's a Republican club in Texas, I believe. Okay, um, so... Texas is behind the nationwide average. I mean, 51% of people in the nation are fully vaccinated. I think in Texas, that's at least 5% behind that. So less than half the people in that audience were, uh, you know, I'm just maybe more because there's old people. Maybe they, they wanted to get it. But uh, there's likely a lot of people in that room that are um, uh, fucking. Oh, we lost them. He'll be right back. I'll bring them in. Um, are they playing yeah, so the uh, village people? <laughs> also i'm sorry is it heritage ranch is that what it's called uh yes sounds about white okay uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> sounds fitting mm -hmm. heritage yeah it definitely fitting um I, I, let me uh get back to dan dan uh you were cut off so let My you finish problem. with that there I was you, just you trying swore to say one that, too uh, many times. You had to. You I, had, I had. To, I had to the, kick you. It cut me off. It was the deep state. Uh, so <laughs> all I was getting at was it. It just seems to me that uh, a lot of people in that room made a bad decision. But um, that's what you get when you have people that don't uh, understand science when they think that they do. Yeah, yeah. It's just this is this to me is. Uh, I mean, this keeps happening, and I don't think that uh, Greg Abbott is going to feel bad at all that he infected possibly more than 100 people. I mean, how cruel was it when Donald Trump, he had that rally, I can't remember where it was, but Herman Cain ended up dying who attended that rally. Tulsa. There were no masks, and did Trump even, like, shed a single tear for his friend and political ally? I don't think so. So, I mean, at, at some point, you've got to think, okay, these Republicans are now killing each other. Are they ever going to get the picture? Let like, <laughs> the I mean, I'm trying. Turning so. point also got got at that rally, right? Yes. 
Oh my god, I, I'm trying so hard to not say anything bad. I'm trying not to crap dance, uh, but th these people are so fucking stupid. Um, uh, Anthony, I don't want to corrupt your young mind because you're young and you're probably more optimistic. So give us a little bit of hopium, if you can. I mean, I really want to be optimistic and all that, you know? Um, I want to be bright. I want to, like, give hope and give a cause or whatever. But, like, um, I just recently visited my parents in Korea. Not, not, sorry, not my parents, my grandparents in Korea. And, like, everyone was wearing masks. Even, like, people who are conservative and are angry about, you know, the minimum wage or whatever. Like, are they, they're all wearing masks. They're even wearing it outside all the time during... On hotter weather than in California, if you can believe it. So, um, I want to believe. I really want to believe that we can have a better world, you know, and all that. But <laughs> I can't help but be skeptical when half the country in this lovely place uh, don't wear masks. Um, I'm confused. Uh, how can I be optimistic? I, yeah, you know, this is interesting. I'm glad that you brought that up because in Korea, the masks aren't a political thing. Like they're not. Polit even if you're conservative politically in Korea, this isn't controversial, is it? Do you ever see anti-mask viral videos out of Korea or or anywhere else in the world? I mean, um, in Korea, I never saw see one. I mean, I'm sure that if that came out, um, the government would flag it as misinformation, and then people will um, troll that person forever. And <laughs> as for um, other countries, um, I haven't really seen. I mean, maybe there are. I'm pretty sure there is. You know, there's the Brazilian president, but you know, mostly I think it's really about a US thing, this mask opposition movement that makes so much scientific sense, you know?